What do you think is the biggest technical hurdle to uh, Bitcoin adoption and why? The biggest technical hurdle to Bitcoin adoption is the fact that it is difficult to understand, it is difficult to use, it is even more difficult to use securely, and we don't yet have the user interfaces, the compelling killer applications, um, and the cultural change that is required. It took years for people to understand how the internet worked, for applications to come out that were compelling enough, for user interfaces and user experience to become smooth enough, for people to become comfortable with it. Some of that is generational. Right? Some people will never be comfortable with this new form of money. And for anyone under 30, the idea of the internet running money sounds kind of obvious. Why would you do it any other way? <laughs> and yet, for some people, that is always going to be alien. The idea of trusting a mathematically based network protocol is never going to be acceptable. Some people still don't accept currency that isn't physical gold. Right? And you'll see people who have that kind of attitude. Now that's 400 years behind the transition, and yet they cling to that. Good for them. Not everybody has to come along for the ride, and it won't be equal everywhere. In some places, Bitcoin is being adopted quite rapidly today. Um, I use Bitcoin as my income and my expenses a lot of the time. A majority, not all. Can't do that yet. Um, and I doubt my parents are going to become habitual Bitcoin users. But my mom saved her retirement from Greek banks using Bitcoin, and that's good enough. And it was worth doing. So people will come at different speeds. The difficulty is we need to build better applications, better security, better user interfaces. We need to explain and then explain again and then demonstrate and help people grasp these fundamental changes to how money works. And eventually it will happen. It's just a matter of time. The idea of a network-based decentralized form of money that exists electronically and primarily serves an online connected society is done. It's baked. It happened. It will be the dominant system of commerce in the future. There is no question in my mind about that. How do we get there? And who builds the really great apps? They're going to be very successful. Mm -hmm.